Hi guys, um, I'm Mani Karam. I'm Mani Karam from San Jacinto College South Campus, as I mentioned earlier. I forgot to um, introduce who my topic is. As you can see, it is over the X, Y, Y units. <coughs> now, this topic is kind of controversial, but I'm going to clear that up and prove to you that this is nothing to be afraid of. Why is it to be afraid of, even though I'm saying it shouldn't be? Well, first of all, as you can see, there are two Y's. Now, these two Y's are called Y chromosomes. When there's two Y chromosomes, you're going to think that, oh, they're male, yes, but they have more male characteristics. And when you have more male characteristics, you're going to seem aggressive, strong, scary, and just everything else related to a characteristic of males. Go to the next slide. So I want to start off with differences between sociopaths and psychopaths. Joker from Batman would be considered a psychopath. Why? Because he is um, he's uh, he's considered a psychopath because a psychopath actually is considered someone who is suffering from abnormal or suffering from mental disorders and someone who is like very like aggressive, has criminal activities, their intentions are not good. They're also impacted from the environment, how they're grown up, and other things. Whereas a sociopath, as Sherlock had mentioned that he is one, in this video clip, if you want to watch it really quick, Anderson said that he is a sociopath, and no, Anderson had said that he is a psychopath, just like how Joker is. However, Sherlock is not a psychopath because he's not suffering from abnormal characteristics of a psychopath, which are criminal activities and aggressive likewise. So in Harry Potter, in the first movie, and maybe the book, maybe the book, I believe, I haven't read the book, so whoever has read the book, you can always correct me, of course. In this scene, Harry was trying to help the snake return to its natural habitat. And then in Mouse, we see that the boy is praying to um, God, asking him over the question, why does he have characteristics of being aggressive again? Why is he not good to other people? Why is everyone worried about him? Why does he do things that he does? However, many years later, he does not get an answer. Another thing to notice is that Harry's intentions were good. But the boy's intentions in the first episode, his name is Jehun, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, his intentions were not good because, first of all, he does not know what he's doing. So when he does not know what he's doing, that also states that what a psychopath actually is. I'm going to briefly discuss the importance of the cell cycle and what the XYY syndrome is. Then I'll compare the Korean show maps to the journal article Finally, I'll summarize the conclusion. My research question states that are individuals with the chromosome X, Y, Y criminals and more prone to aggressive behavior? Prone is, termed, is a term to define most likely. So are individuals with the chromosome X, Y, Y criminals and more likely to suffer from aggressive behavior? So in this picture, it says the XYY syndrome, and it points here that this is an XYY syndrome because, again, there are two Y chromosomes. The Y chromosomes will be the smaller ones, if I'm saying this correctly. And then the X chromosome is the ones larger, I believe. This also depicts that this would be a male, but the two Y chromosomes. Okay, so we know how important the cell cycle is, right? And we also know that there are three phases in interphase. Interphase is a very important part of the cell cycle. Interphase is the most important or most important part of the cell cycle, cell cycle because the cell spends most of its time in all of these, in all of this phase. Interphase consists of three phases: G1, G2, G1 as in the G2. It also consists of mitosis and cytokinesis to finish the entire cycle. 
There are also three checkpoints. One of them is G1, G2, and M phase. Now in G1, G1 phase checks for the cell's um, growth as well as denervication, I believe, but G2 also does that. However, if the cell is not healthy, it will return to its G0 phase, which is also cell cycle arrest. The M phase, though, is also called the mitotic phase, hence mitosis. The M phase actually checks for the cell's, checks for the cell's environment and everything else to be considered to ready to go. And when I say ready to go, I mean in each of these phases, there will be a go-ahead signal. So go-ahead signal, go-ahead signal, go-ahead go ahead signal, only though if the cell is healthy. Let me illustrate what I mean by my type phase. So in the mitotic phase, this consists of the mitotic, the no, this consists of metaphase. And in metaphase, there is this line. You have the spindles. It has to make sure that the microtubules are correctly attached. If they're not attached, as I said earlier, it will return to its G0 phase. So, because I am talking about the XRY syndrome and its myth, biology is important, that's why I'm going over all of this stuff. So, I would like to start off with cell division in this slide. In cell division, there are, two, there are two types of cell divisions. There is mitosis, which is over here, and then meiosis. Mitosis consists of two daughter cells that are identical and they are haploid. They start off with diploid cells, though. In meiosis, on the other hand, they produce uh, sex, uh, sex cells, right? So like you're, they're going to identify well, what kind of gender you are, female or male and transgender, if there's a gene mutation, of course, or anything else, I believe. So in meiosis, it's going to produce four daughter cells that are identical and haploid. Here is the question that I'd like to ask you. So how do you think that two Y chromosomes um, occur or happen? Like, what do you think happens? What makes it like two Y chromosomes? Well, First of all, for two Y chromosomes to occur, there is going to be a gene mutation. It is not inherited. That's why I'm saying there's a gene mutation. A gene mutation can occur to either from environmental factors, from radiation, so like they're going to ionize radiation, or they're going to um, have other uh, factors that will affect their mutation. There are also three types of gene mutations. There is addition, which is also called insertion. Then there is uh, deletion, so like the gene will uh, remove from its place, or there will be a uh, base substitution. So like it will just like remove that kind of base, and that bases are A, are A, G, C, and T. I hopefully I am correct. You can always correct me if I'm wrong. So. <clears throat> When a gene mutation occurs, there is going to be a normal protein and there, there will be no protein. So this is why the X, Y, Y, I would like to focus on the two Y chromosomes, will cause that to occur, hence gene mutation. Let me, uh, uh, let me clear the difference between monosomy and trisomy as well. So monosomy is when there are one chromosome, and trisomy is when there are three chromosomes. And in that set, for example, over here, it would be considered a karyotype. In this example, the three chromosomes, 21, is a Down syndrome. And over here, XO, O we just identify as no chromosome, and X is just one chromosome, and that's one X, so monosomy, and then this would be an example of Turner syndrome. 
How does this relate to x, y, y? Well, x, y, y would be considered a trisomy. Scientists and geniuses can also figure out if there's anything wrong with our chromosomes and check if they're healthy. They do this through karyotyping, and in karyotyping, scientists and geniuses look for the number of chromosomes, their shape, and their size. Let's finally go to my research question. So what is the XY syndrome? The XY syndrome states that there are two Y chromosomes due to a gene mutation and it usually occurs in males. It is also known as Jacob's syndrome or Superman syndrome. They're usually identified by a taller height, learning disabilities, which fall into two categories. Either they will have ADHD, anxiety, depression, or they will suffer from antisocial personality disorder, so ASPD. Then, I mean that for behavioral disorders, but learning disabilities will, however, not constitute exactly what I mean by behavioral disorders, but they may as well have a relationship. When I say learning disabilities, I mean have trouble in learning. So like their intellectual level won't be uh, similar to people with normal sex chromosomes. In the Korean show, Mouse, it asked the question if society could reliably predict that a person would become a color before they were even, before they were even born, what would we do? According to a scientist named Daniel Lee. Doesn't this question send chills down your minds? I mean, how is this ethical, first of all? Like, figuring out a person becoming a criminal just based on their genes, and even before they are born. Although I say this, the scientists in this drama slash movie or show wanted to figure out if this was true and if there was a relationship with it. This relationship has to do with the myth which told us that the X and Y relationship is due to taller height, obviously, learning disabilities and behavior disorders as I mentioned. But the main point here is that the main point here is that the main point here is that it has a relationship with its aggressive behavior. So the scientist named Daniel Lee, he found out the gene present in DNA would 1% become murderous and the other 1% would become geniuses. However, his research has not been backed out enough and he needs to wait and figure out if he can prove it to everyone else. This also raises the question of forced abortion. We know that forced abortion is a sensitive topic and it is not easy. Women who are bearing children are not going to agree at all, or people, or no, sorry, uh, women who are bearing children, and if they don't want this kid, they're going to do it. In this drama, the question of forced abortion, though, caused the pro proposal to be shut down. According to Lloyd Pepp, furthermore, this also brings up the discussion of nature versus theory. So nature is your genes, your hereditary factors, your physical appearance, your personality, your characteristics. Nurture, on the other hand, is environmental variables, childhood experiments, how we were raised, social relationships, as well as certain cultures. And you can also see an example of this in the picture. In the drama slash Korean show, uh, whichever word you prefer easier to understand, it was showed it showed us in the first episode that Jin killed the class rabbit. Someone isn't going to just kill someone or something or a living creature just because they want to. And even if they don't want to, then that would tell us that they actually didn't attend to, but because someone else caused them. Or you have another idea. They actually don't know why they killed them. 
They don't know why they killed someone. They don't know why they killed a living creature. In this case, Jaehoon did not know why he killed the cross graphics. His teacher was also worried about his mental state. Mental state is like your morals, your values, your emotional health, and everything else related. Monty, we're, we're over time, so if you want to find a good place to wrap it up, thanks. So, Jaehoon wants you if the, if the rabbit had gained birth or was pregnant. In the journal article, it disagreed with theory of violent crime, and it came up with a hypothesis of insular satisfaction. There was a crime of one or more with a mean of 33.5, men who had no crime had a mean of 44.5. The scientist did, the scientists and researchers did this through the BPP test, which is biophysical profile during pregnancy of a woman to find uh, what's wrong with the baby, or just to ensure it's okay, then the height theory was also false, and indeed there was a risk for learning. Other variables included parental socioeconomic status, height, education, control group, XY. This was done in Denmark and Denmark criminal registrations. Results, criminal offenses is a forgery, intentional arson, and the X or Y were aggressive than the X Y individuals, and we can definitely see this over here. X or Y had more rates than the X Y. The difference is not significant, and it can be seen in the heights. Not much of a difference. And then this was also done through a one-tail binomial test. Next slide. In conclusion, parents should educate their male children on this disorder. And they should tell them what behaviors are acceptable, what behaviors are not acceptable. The scientists and geniuses can also find out if an unborn child will be a criminal for ultrasound and genetic testing. However, it is not in a to assume children of abnormal chromosomes, especially X or Y, are criminals and prone to aggressive behavior.